tonight, we start with Raider football against IUP. This past Saturday, Shippensburg Raiders hit the road taking on 20th ranked Indiana University of Pennsylvania. Ship has been winless against IUP for 20 years now. Let's see if Ship can break the streak. Raiders started off well in the first half. Here, watch this. Four guys take down the IUP quarterback, but that momentum was cut short as the Crimson Hawk offense sparked a rally. Hawks' Andrew Crewatch looks for the open man. And Yahtzee, Ken Woodard rolling into the end zone. IUP makes it a two-possession advantage. The score now, 10 to nothing. Crewatch again, looking downfield with the lob, one-handed grab by tight end Dan Pickens. Crimson Hawks add to their lead, 17 to zero. Now it's Ship's turn with the ball, and when I say turn, I mean, turn over, whoops, oh, oh, oh. stripped with the interception by Ter Terrence Jackson. This then leads to the IUP touchdown. What a play. Here, watch the middle of your screen as this pass couldn't be any more perfect. Witter with his second TD of the game, IUP defends their 20 game winning streak against Shippensburg as they go on to win 30 to zero making it the first time this season Ship has been held scoreless. Shippensburg struggled with a surprising negative 16 rushing yards. Whether you call it the big game or a match between two teams, Shippensburg Athletic Advisory Committee, also known as SAC, supports them all. It's always nice to have the student athletes supporting other athletes. And where does this unity come from? The big game. All the sporting teams throughout campus picking their single biggest match or competition of the year and then promoting that throughout campus and trying to get as many other student athletes and just regular students to that as possible. While SAC supports student athletes here at Shippensburg University, it also extends its hand into the community by collecting spare change for organizations such as Make-A-Wish Foundation and the Christmas Giving Project. Every student athlete had to donate at least one dollar and it's going towards three families in the Carlisle area where we're providing uh, certain stuff like clothes, toys, games and stuff that these families asked for. SAC donated $5,000 last year and strives to raise even more this year to surpass that goal. When you're in a small community like this, it's just like having one big family and it's a lot of fun. Reporting from Shippensburg University, I'm Becky Brensinger, SUTV News.